Warehouse followers. Today I have one of my favorite pieces this year. Um, so it's going to be a nice little wood ran surface. These guys are very trendy. It's going to have the wood beads up above and one below with a fun little tassel. Um, I think these are really easy to paint and decorate. You can, it's a great building surface along with they take vinyl really nicely. Um, so I'm going to be showing you three different ways that we can kind of transform these with just a couple paints and a couple vinyls. Um, I think this would be a great little craft night with your girlfriends or maybe a mother-daughter craft night. Um, today I am doing a holiday look, but you could do these really for any season. So I have these three vinyls. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Don't get your tinsel in a tangle and winter wonderland so looking at these you can see that they look a little too big for the surface right you're like i don't know kara i don't think those are going to fit on there well i'm going to show you how easy these are to cut and kind of puzzle together to fit onto the surface that you might need so we're going to go ahead and start with this winter wonderland one so I am going to go ahead, we're not going to paint this surface, this is going to be our first one and we're just not going to paint it. And this is a layering vinyl, so I'm going to go ahead and take this Winter Wonderland off and then it's going to have some snowflakes on the back side, so I'll pull those right off as well, set them to the side. And then I want to cut my branches here. Cause I want to make sure I'm pulling my branch all the way to the side. So for these vinyls, all you have to do is go corner to corner. Um, if you're having any problems with it sticking like this, I suggest just taking a um, credit card or any blunt surface, a popsicle stick will work nicely as well. And just kind of go along, Kind of help it adhere to that transfer sheet. So that transfer sheet is that top piece that we want it to adhere to. And then this bottom piece, you're not gonna need. So you can just throw that away. And I'm gonna pull this up a little bit higher because I believe I'm gonna put my winter wonderland in between the branches. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this bottom Oops, this bottom branch. And we're gonna line it up again. I cannot see this corner here, so I'm gonna make sure I get this paper out of my way. I'm gonna line it up down on the bottom over here. Maybe a little bit further. All right. And then I'm just gonna come in with my popsicle stick over the top making sure it's gonna adhere to that wood surface below. So I'm just gonna peel corner to corner. And I wanna kinda go slow here cause I wanna make sure my branch is sticking and that I'm not gonna be pulling up any of the um, branch and possibly breaking my vinyl or missing a section. So that came off pretty smoothly. So let's go with this guy. Again, I'm kind of going corner to corner and I kind of go back and forth with it just a little. Um, you don't have to. I just find it kind of helps me in catching all of the letter at once versus maybe missing a little bit of it or the branch, whatever your design may be. Ooh, okay, already, look how simple that looks. Um, it could be really fun. I could even add texture snow to this. So we're going to come in. I'm going to cut away the birds. And I'm going to cut apart this winter wonderland. Now for the birds, I like to keep those two together. And I'm just going to snip off this next one. I'm going to place my birds here. So... You can kind of see when you're placing this, you can see the brown under there. So I have them sitting right on that branch. And then I'm gonna kind of stick this other little bird out just a tad, not much, just a tad. 
And I cut that apart because I knew this branch was gonna go up and he wouldn't be sitting on the branch the right way. His body would be halfway through. Um, if I put these birds down further, they could have sat on the same branch um, at a level, more level, um, more level line, so I wouldn't have had to cut it. Okay, now let's see where we're gonna place this winter wonderland. I am gonna off center them. So I could kind of go across this way or I can have my words right above each other. That's what I personally like. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But again, you have more options when you kind of cut your vinyl apart, especially on these ones that are puzzled together. So I put the winter down. Again, I'm just peeling corner to corner on these vinyls, making it sure they're adhering to that transfer sheet above. Okay. I was gonna set them down lower, but I just had too much of my word covering this branch, so I did kind of adjust it. So you might wanna kind of pay attention to that while you're laying them down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and peel this bottom one up first. And if you have any letters or vinyls sticking like that, you can just push it right back down and just keep going. Sometimes with these more um, fine letters and these cursive writing, you tend to have, or font, you tend to have a little bit of a harder time getting them all to stick the first time. Okay, now we're gonna do that top one. Again, I'm going slow, making sure I'm catching any of my dotted I's, my cross T's, and any of my swoops off my letters. All right. Gosh, that right there even looks so cute, but you know, this vinyl comes with snowflakes. So they kind of already have them in pairs, so I'm just gonna cut them out to begin with in pairs. And then if I have to from there, I can go ahead and cut them into singles. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put, let's see. I kind of just place them as I go here, see where I might need them to lay. So I'm probably gonna do something like that. I think I'm gonna end up cutting these two apart so I can spread out the snowflakes a little bit more, but I like the way these are looking. So I'm just gonna lay them down how they are. So throw that grouping down. And you can kind of have them go over any branches if you want. It looks really cute. It just is gonna all, again, come down to your preference and how you like your snowflakes to be falling. Um, I could have really spaced all these out throughout the piece here. Um, just wasn't the look I was going for, but either way, it would look really gorgeous. I'm gonna pop this guy right here. I don't wanna not have any snowflakes around this winter wonderland. That is why I am cutting up my vinyl and my snowflakes a little bit. So I can just spread a couple of them out. Okay, and one more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over with my squeegee, but again, a credit card or a popsicle stick will work just as well. And just go right over my snowflakes, making sure that they're gonna adhere nicely to my board. I might have to give it a little extra love just because these snowflakes are so detailed. So let's go ahead and start pulling them back one by one. Again, I wanna go slow because there is a lot of detail in these snowflakes. And I wanna make sure I'm not ripping the snowflake apart or missing any of that detail.
They're super easy. Just, you want to go a little bit slower. All right. So we got a couple of our snowflakes already showing. I'm excited to show you guys this one because I really think snowflakes going over a branch is really cute. Also kind of gives it that dimension. See how fun that is? I love how easy these vinyls are to layer and kind of puzzle together in a way that's gonna work best for you. All right, I think we got a couple more snowflakes here. And one more. And this one's kind of going over that branch again, which I just I love that look. And you guys, look how cute this is. It doesn't even need anything. Um, I could go ahead and paint these red if I wanted to, but I just love how simple this is. And that is simply with just a surface and a vinyl. And the vinyl definitely did not look like it was gonna work for this, but if you cut these apart, you can really make them work. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the second one. Okay, you guys, so now I'm gonna do that don't get your tinsel in a tangle. Um, I do have this awesome walnut gel, gel stain with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this on and I'm going to wipe it off like you would another stain just to kind of give this a little darker look than my last one. So I'm just going to squeeze this on there. All right, so now I'm just gonna, I'm using a foam brush, but whatever brush works best for you guys. And I'm just gonna spread that all the way across. I'm just gonna be doing this top layer, but you could easily do um, both sides. You can make this a reversible piece. So maybe when Christmas is over, you can have one that has just a nice little welcome on the back side, or this is our home something just a little bit more every day, maybe Pacific Northwest. Okay. So I'm just making sure this is completely covered. And then what I do is you're gonna wanna make sure you have some paper towels handy and you're just gonna wipe away anything extra on the surface. So let's just clean this up. Uh, I just look at how that grain pops. I love this gel stain. And I do have to say the walnut is by far my favorite for most of our surfaces, um, just cause the color is so rich and beautiful. Um, another thing is if I wanted to make this darker, I could go ahead and put a little bit more paint on once it dries and just do another layer just like we did and it'll darken it. I wanna make sure I get my edges really nicely. I don't want there to be extra blobs there. Okay, I love the way this looks, you guys. So you guys, I do wanna make sure this is really nice and dry before I go and put my vinyl on. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to hit it with a heat gun, um, but it, you can just let it air dry for a couple minutes and then you can go ahead and pop your vinyl on and you'll be good to go. If you are doing a heat gun at home, just kind of go back and forth pretty quickly. Um, you don't want to hang out in one spot too long and overheat anywhere. Okay, so that is good to go, you guys. So I'm gonna have to cut this guy too, but let's go ahead and open him. So I am gonna pull this, don't get your tinsel. I'm gonna just cut this right in half. And then I'm gonna start with this top part, the don't get your. So I'm just gonna peel it corner to corner, make sure I'm catching all those letters on that top transfer sheet. And then I'm gonna put this pretty close to the top. I wanna make sure it's not 
um, crossing the edge over here. So I wanna make sure my letters are hitting the edge and that I'm not going over the hole there. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee or your credit card and just go right over the surface and your vinyl, making sure it adheres nicely. And then I'm gonna pull corner to corner, making sure my letters are sticking as I go. Sometimes I just don't wanna stick, huh? Okay. Let's give this a little bit more love. Don't get, oops, that your is not wanting to stick there. Don't get your, I'm going the opposite way since I'm just kind of having a little bit of problems. Don't get your, finally have it on there you guys. See, sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of patience with your vinyls, um, they will go on. Sometimes they're just a little bit more stubborn. So in a tangle is our next part we're gonna put on. So I'm gonna I'm gonna off center this just a little, but again I'm gonna make sure um, my E here is right on the edge and that my letters are not going over that hole. And I'm just gonna come in with that squeegee I have, but a credit card or again, a popsicle will work, popsicle stick. All right, so let's see how I did on this one, you guys. Oh, much better. I might have not had my um, surface dried enough. That might be why I had a little bit of problems at the beginning. Now, I'm gonna put this tangle on, you guys. This is gonna be this beautiful holographic red. I am in love with this vinyl. Um, first off, how fun is it when you are pulling your vinyl back and you're seeing all this sparkle? Woo, I am loving, I just love this side. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and center this right on here. And again, I'm coming in with that squeegee. I can't wait to reveal this, you guys. This is such a pretty vinyl. Okay, now I'm gonna go, oh, you can already see it coming through. Oh my gosh. How fun. I love this. I'm going to bring this up so you guys can see. Look at that sparkle. Mm -mm -mm. I just love it. That's my type of sparkle. It's glittery without having the glitter mess. Um, so now I do want to paint these and I want to paint a couple on my next project. So I am just going to go ahead. You want to pull these knots apart. And you're just gonna slide these right off. And then we'll restring them after we get them all painted. So when I paint these, I just put them on a paper towel and I'm just gonna plop them right there. Okay, so I am just gonna go ahead and paint two of these. So I'm gonna set one of these aside. And I personally work right off my paper towel, but um, if you have a little painter's palette, you can do that as well. Oops. And I'm just gonna hold my bead and I'm gonna paint all the way around. And then I'll let it dry. You can go ahead and put a second coat on this if you want. Um, I probably would put a second coat to have that little more vibrant red. Um, but, if you are okay with it kind of being a washed red, then one coat will be perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna come in. We're gonna paint that next one. Nothing fancy. You will have to let these dry before you put them onto your string, otherwise you're gonna get your 
hands all dirty and your paint is going to get all rubbed off onto your string and um, also will get rubbed off of your bead here. So again, I'm just going to let those dry. I'm going to go ahead and put a second coat on and then we will be back. Okay, you guys, my beads are all dry now. So I'm going to string those right back on the strings. I just kind of twist these a little bit and then I twist the bead the same direction I twisted the string. And it should go ahead and pop out onto the other side and just pull your bead right through. I'm going to make sure my strings are all level here. They're a little bit off. So I'm just going to do that again. And we're going to put that all white one on there. And we're just again going to twist. And then once you can pull some string, pull your bead, pull the string and push the bead down. All right, and there's our last one. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make a knot to make sure I secure those beads right there. And then we'll take a knot near the top. So we have a end to hang up. And just a little baby one right near the top. All right. And there you have your fun. Don't get your tinsel on the tangle. All right, you guys, now I got one last one and we're gonna go ahead and bring that over. And that's gonna be the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package. First thing with this vinyl, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. And then I'm gonna cut right near the words on both of these um, sayings. Now the reason I'm doing this is because this is a little bit tighter here and I want to make sure I'm putting my Mary in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and place my Mary first. So should be good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out of the way. And I'm just gonna take that squeegee, make sure it's nicely adhered, pulling that transfer sheet corner to corner. All right, so we have Mary down. And from here, I'm really wanting to paint this top and this bottom layer. So I'm going to come in with my paper or masker, masking tape and I'm just going to line it up with my lowest and highest part of my word Mary here. Now I really want to make sure that this is adhered nicely down. So I'm going to go ahead and come in with my squeegee because I don't want there to be any gaps so that my paint doesn't bleed through. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put my paint right on the surface. So I put my paint right on the surface and I'm just gonna go ahead and Color it all in. Now you could do a different color if you did want a different paint on here. Um, I just think the red really ties in with the word on here. Okay, we're just gonna get all those little crevices. Now, if you don't like seeing um, through the paint as much you can go ahead and let this dry and put a second coat I'm probably gonna go ahead and let this dry and go ahead and put a second coat um, that's just a personal preference of mine but you can do whatever you prefer okay now that's all dry I'm gonna go ahead 
we're gonna take this tape and peel back and hopefully I did this well so my lines will be nice and clean. Oops, I did catch my vinyl there so do kind of be a little bit careful um, and that you're not pulling up all your vinyl. Look at those lines. Oops, I did have a little bit of a bleed out on that corner there. And it's probably because I didn't have my tape all the way secured. So let's go ahead and pull this side. And again, I'm just going to go nice and slow, making sure I'm not pulling any of my vinyl up. Um, so I'm not ruining that section we've already done. All right, that one looks nice and clean. Yay, that's exciting, you guys. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put our other words on. So again, we're just gonna peel that top transfer sheet, making sure all of our letters are sticking on, and then have yourself, and we're just gonna make sure, come through with that squeegee or your credit card. Making sure it's adhered nicely. And I'm just kind of going that corner to corner, making sure all my letters are sticking, just in case I didn't let my um, surface dry. All right, have yourself a Merry, and then we're gonna come in with this little Christmas. Make sure all my letters are sticking to that transfer sheet. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Oops, I'm a little bit off there. So I'm just gonna make sure my letters are inside the circle. Just come on in with that squeegee, blunt um, tool, blunt edge tool. And then we're gonna peel corner to corner, making sure all my letters are sticking and adhering nicely. So far, so good. Got a couple more letters. And ta-da! Now, I could go ahead and I could paint the beads on this, but I actually kind of like how it looks just like this. It's very simple. Um, again, I really don't mind painting the beads, so I could come through and paint it, but that's going to come down to a preference, you guys. Surfaces. Let's go ahead and bring those other surfaces in so we have that don't get your tinsel in a tangle and the winter wonderland. How fun, you guys. All of them are so different, yet um, they're all easy to do and create. All right, you guys. I can't wait to see what you ended up doing. Thank you for crafting with me today, and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.